Welcome to Learn to Stats. Today we're going to be going over the sample standard deviation and whether ChatGPT can do it. Now, AI can do a lot of things, but whether or not it can do accurate statistics is something we're going to test here. And so the numbers I'm going to be using come from the videos that I've put out on uh, sample standard deviation, 2, 5, 9, and 12. Now, it's important to use a small number uh, when going over how to do a, a method like this because you don't want to use too many numbers and confuse people because you just have so many numbers and so that's why I only have four and so hopefully the AI chat GPT will be able to do the sample standard deviation uh, previously just before I pushed record it did it gave me the correct answer but let's see if it continues to do so here and so I'm gonna write the prompt in there uh, what is the sample standard deviation of 2, 5, 9, and 12? All right, so I put the prompt in. It's walking through the methodology. And as you can see, it's attempting to do the calculation. Now, unfortunately, 4.83 is not the answer. Uh, 4.396 is the answer. And so I'm using Excel here to calculate the standard deviation because Excel has a robust system. Unlike AI, it doesn't scour its database and then try to solve it on its own right right then and there. Excel has a pre-programmed calculation set for standard deviation for the sample or standard deviation for the population. And so this wasn't really that hard to validate. Uh, in terms of my calculation, I got exactly what the Excel calculation got. So. I have two points of contact here. I did my own calculations myself, which are in the video, and I walk through them, and then we have Excel. Now, if I put the prompt in again, will that give me a different answer? Because like I said before, it did give me the correct answer the first time. So it gives me exactly the same thing. Let's try a new prompt from a new window and see if it gives us a different answer. Uh, because what it might be doing is it might be pulling the calculation once and then for that entire window it's using the exact same calculation. So let's see if it changes it here. Now you can already tell from the get-go it's explaining it in a different way which goes with what I was saying and it's starting to get to the point where it so okay it got 58 which is exactly what we we're looking for but it gives you 4.04 um that's too low so now <laughs> it went above and now it's below if you're going to round to two decimal places it's going to be 4.40 it got it wrong again it's a different type of wrong but it got it wrong again and in terms of like what we have to do just to, to verify this information is do the square root of 58 over 3, which gives us the exact same answer that um, I'd calculated previously and that Excel already calculated. So what does this tell us? It tells us that AI is scatterbrained. It tells us that AI doesn't exactly give us the answer that we need, but what it thinks we need. Now it doesn't technically think, what it's doing is it's pulling through algorithms and unfortunately those are not perfected. We get these different answers, which is why out of the three times I did it, the one time before recording and the two times on video, they're all different answers and the, the AI explained it in three different ways. So it does walk you through the process the way it's supposed to happen the way the calculation actually works but it doesn't give you the right answer at least not always and so you know if you pull anything from this video don't trust AI go to Excel use Python use R SAS use any number of those programs do not use AI to do your homework or as validation for a test or something if you have any more questions or if you want me to go over another calculation or methodology through AI or just a video itself to help you understand statistics better, I'm more than willing to do it. Please leave it down in the comments section. Thank you for watching and stay nerdy, my friends.